Hello, I'm Benjamin Stewart. I'm the Senior Academic Advisor for the STEM and Allied Health majors here at Kingsborough Community College. This is a short video on um, some of the intricacies of the nursing program here at Kingsborough Community College. Specifically, after you've decided to come to Kingsborough and study nursing, there are two different phases. The first phase is what I'm going to be talking about in this video. Um, that phase is known as the preclinical phase. So we're going to go to the nursing webpage again. And if you need the video uh, on how to access that, um, I've done a in-depth tutorial on how to do that uh, on a video that you can find on my page. Uh, so we'll just get right to the nursing degree. Uh, we go here, we're going to click on nursing. Uh, as in the other video, and we're going to go straight to the nursing webpage. So the preclinical is the first part of the actual nursing degree program. It doesn't mean that you are a nursing student right away. What it does mean is that you have um, done your application, you're currently in the process of taking courses which are called prerequisites in order to get into what we call the clinical phase, which is the second phase. And I'll do a video about that later. Um, so we're going to click on program requirements here. And once that page loads up, I'll show you what I mean. <coughs> so once the program, uh, once the uh, catalog loads up, you'll see the nursing AAS degree. Um, there's going to be a lot of information here. Do not be discouraged. Um, just read through some of this so you can figure out exactly what you're getting yourself into. But I wanted to go down here to um, to the required core, the flex core, um, and what's called the scientific world portion of the degree. And then we'll talk about the major components of the degree as well. So the preclinical phase consists of four classes. The first class is English 12, English Composition 1, which is a three credit English class. All degrees are required to take this course. You also have to take uh, life and physical science which is a part of the uh, degree itself um, that being human anatomy physiology one for four credits that is your bio 1100 course and then you also have to take the prerequisite to um, your psychology which would be psychology 11 here so these are the first three classes out of those four classes that you would need to take in order to um, start your process of getting into the nursing program. These three courses, English 12, Bio 11, and Psychology 11, are the prerequisites for this course here, Science 25. Now, Science 25, uh, which is also called Applied Physical Sciences for Allied Health Careers, this is the course that stu all students have to take in order to take the TEAS exam. The TEAS exam is what you take in order to transition from your preclinical phase to your clinical phase. Once you've done your exam in all of your classes, then the nursing department will notify you on whether or not you will be continuing on to the um, clinical phase, which consists of the successful classes that you would do in the sequence. Um, so after your English 12, you would do your 24. After your uh, psychology 11, you will do your 32. You would also be able to take your so sociology 31, um, and you would move on to your next bio, or human anatomy physiology, which is bio 12. Um, what some students like to do during their preclinical phase is to also take these classes beforehand so that when they are in the clinical phase, they'll be able to concentrate more on the uh, nursing courses that they have to take in sequence as well. This is um, on this page, you will see a lot of information and a lot of these classes repeating. These are just to show you what categories are in. But if you come to the bottom here, you'll see what's the expected transition or the expected pathway uh, of the degree itself. So in your first semester for the uh, clinical component, you would have your Bio 12, your Psych 11, I mean, excuse me, your Psych 32, and your Nursing 17 and 18. These are the first two nursing courses in your clinical phase. These courses you may have already completed before you get to your nursing 17 and your nursing 18. So do not be discouraged if you do have these courses already. Um, that does, just means that upon entering the clinical phase, you'd have more opportunity to, to uh, 
concentrate on these nursing courses and maybe even take other courses that you may need to uh, transition into your bachelor's program. But I'll cover most of these uh, clinical phases in the next video that I'm going to do in just a moment. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please reach out to me at my telephone number, which is 718-368-4926. Or you can email me at Benjamin, B-E-N-J-A-M-I-N dot Stewart, S-T-E-W-A-R-T, at kb 